Yes. Oh my god. Check that out. That's great. Thank there you. What's that sauce? Pepper bomb. Okay. Can I try some? I'm cool, thank you. Really good children. Yeah. So he goes on to say that his eldest is a boy of nine and he's got twins as well. So he's got three children all in all. So this show is First Dates. You probably have heard of it before. Um, this is the UK version. Many countries have a version and it's basically a blind date, just to put it very simply. And this is a particular restaurant where they go to and it's always the same person leading you to the, your table. There's always the same bartenders and it's a restaurant which I don't know if they use it for actual just restaurant purposes, but as specifically for you know blind dates like this and it's a whole show and then they kind of you know they just follow how the date goes and yeah so we're here for the ride so let's continue to see what goes on here i'm not there every day anymore but you know, i'll try and you do your you part know, most of what yeah. time i have i'll see him one day a week and every other weekend it's not the same it's not a family life so what type of woman do you go for what's your preference um, good on it decent woman Nice eyes and bum. And <laughs> like a little spark. Yeah, something catches your eye. Yeah, you know, like if some people have a twinkle in their eye, like a cheeky look. You definitely look cheeky. In the UK, when you say somebody looks cheeky like this, like she's trying to flirt, this is her flirting. The guy then proceeds to ask her how many kids she has, and she says she's got sons. And he's like, uh, okay how many which leads her to making this face and the answer is drum roll please no. <laughs> no. she, she was scared to say it <laughs> so, your plan for weekend? Well, got football tomorrow morning. so here's the deal they're on this date they have to keep it cute keep it classy she's already told him she has five kids he's seen his response to that okay it was visual it was clear <laughs> but they have to have small talk so they go on and have small talk and then here comes the bill and the guy looks at her and says so how do you want to do this she's like huh is it going halves yeah the waiter is like this is too embarrassing mm -hmm. let me just come with the solution <laughs> you're going halves right let's go dutch for something these, these dinners are not cheap either mm -hmm. eh? you four have four pounds yes mm -hmm. you have to imagine this is somebody you've never met now shivery a uh, guy should pay for the first day that you're like Look, I'm one of those people that, depending on what the guys like, I think going Dutch is not bad, mm -hmm. to be honest, because a lot of people make the argument, at all. you don't know him from anywhere. Mm -hmm. Like, this may or may he, not work he out. Have five he just heard you have... Exactly. He will, not, he will not want to go near it anymore. He already so, knows yeah. the, the, the jig is up. He already knows. So mm -hmm. it's like, listen, my friend, pay for what you ate. Like, what the heck? <laughs> no, but on the other way around. <laughs> I think going Dutch is good, but on the other way around, being a gentleman, you want to you want to pay for it. No, I mean no matter what, you want to pay for and it. And women like that. And she mm. goes away with her five boys. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't think they are going to fit in any house. The children alone will be eight, so they, with the two of them they will be ten. Mm. I, I don't know how many houses has uh, has uh, ten rooms. Accurately, it might work. But the chances of a relationship like that working is about 2%. Mm -hmm. it's, it's about true. 2%. You see, because the woman, when she was asked how many children, the man confidently mm -hmm. said, so I've got three, three uh, uh, one and, uh, and twins. Mm -hmm. But this woman, when she was asked, he saw her face. Mm -hmm. And pronouncing the word five boys, that was difficult for her. Because if you've had five boys, is it with one man? Or five different men, baby, mm. baby daddies, and, mm. and 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 where are the men? She 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 she, she can be a good woman, all right. She's she beautiful. Can be a, mm. She can be a good woman, all right. But maybe she's not been fortunate to find. I mean, it's uh, a lifetime a lifetime partner. Yeah. You know. So I will not judge. I will not judge her. But no. for a relationship like that to work, well, but I know she's not going to be that woman who demands a lot with five with five boys well she's here demanding quite a bit for this mm. guy to you know pay for pay, pay uh, for you know food. pay for mm. you know Plus. 44 pounds is not it's not cheap mm. now let's see how this concludes better have some change back <laughs> <laughs> yeah you got enough what's that <laughs> she's prepared Ooh. there we go just in case i went on a cheap day <laughs> You know, we live in a very strange world. Mm. 
we live we live in a very strange world uh, the man has got three the woman has got five nobody's going to blame her for the five but the question still remains are they from one father or five fathers or three fathers i'm not saying because she's ha she's got five boys she's a bad person jumping from one relationship to the other it could be that she's not been lucky with men you know it could be it could be that but it will really take a man who can really take in a lot to start a relationship with a woman with five boys i know that children from another father they don't tend to take you the man in the relationship very seriously mm -hmm. they know you are not their father so if they are very young okay you might be able to bring them up your own way and you gain the respect that way but by then if they are big let's say yeah 15 12 they are already grown and mm -hmm. it's very very difficult to, to, yeah. to bring them up yeah is, I wish the lady a lot of luck. She doesn't look a bad person. The fact that she was prepared to pay for her share of the bill. She, she didn't have a choice. <laughs> the guy was not prepared yeah. to pay. But luckily she had some money. Yeah. Yes. You can't expect you know, the guy to pay these always. Days, these days you don't go out without my own. I pray for the best for both of them. And yeah, nothing is impossible. In any case, if you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit bum stop. As something as subscribe button. Comment because I really want to know what you think. Like because you always like this video and hit the notification bell while you at it. I'll see you next video, which will be tomorrow. Daily videos up in here. In the meantime, make time for glorious life. It's time to what? Start living your life. I don't know if that's how my outro goes, but my battery is dying, so I'm gone. Bye!